Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Pastor Tiffania. I'm so glad you're joining us for this time of worship today just for kids and their families. I'm here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. We're gonna get started with some singing and dancing, so you're invited to stand up and sing and dance along with us. This the light of mine, and I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. here today. Our Bible story for today is about God being always with us and we're going to learn about how God was a fire and a cloud with God's people Israel when they needed God. So let's put on our listening ears and watch and listen to our Bible story. Stories of the Bible Moses in the wilderness. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. But God called Moses back to Egypt ah. to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea 
and towards the promised land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Uh. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey. Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. <laughs> the people were still thirsty and they were mad at Moses saying, did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai, and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. So a lot of things happened to God's people in the wilderness, right? They were in a hot desert. There was no water, no food. They felt lost and they thought they were all alone, but God was always with them. God provided for them, giving them water and food every day. And God showed them where to go, right? God was a cloud in the daytime and a fire at night so that they always knew that God was with them. Now, the Israelites, God's people, journeyed for 40 years in the wilderness, in the desert, but God was with them every step of the way. And even today, even though we don't see God like a cloud or a fire with us every day, we know that God is with us in our hearts that God is always listening when we pray, and God is always there for us to listen to as well. So we can always listen to God to make good choices and to help others to share God's love with others. So there's a lot of ways that we can do that. So you're invited to think about one way that you can share God's love. Maybe it's just helping out a parent at home Maybe it's being kind to a brother or sister or a friend. Maybe there's something else you can do to share God's love. But that's what God always invites us to do, is to know that God is always with us, that God always loves us, and that we can share God's love through our words and actions. We're going to continue in our chapel time with some more singing and dancing, so you're invited to stand up and sing and dance with us. Lord, your God is with 
So let's put our hands together and repeat after me. Dear God, I thank you for your love that is always with me. Help me to remember to share your love, to be kind, and to love others through my words and actions. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining me today for our children's chapel time. We have a new video every Sunday at 9.30, and we have worship in person and online on Sundays at 10.30. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>